Okay, well, as you guys can see, um, we have paper ballots. We have hand-counted ballots, which is awesome. That didn't change. Nothing's really variated much from 2018 to now, and they do not have ranked choice voting. Let's bring out our representation. Ladies and gentlemen, from the state of Montana, Teresa Menzella. Teresa, tell us what is happening in Montana. In Montana, Jesus is on the throne. That gives us great hope. None of this surprises him. Our people are engaged, and uh, there's seven counties represented here. Hello, Montana. Woohoo! And uh, legislatively, we had 17 pages of election uh, legislation. A few of them got through, some of them, a lot of them didn't. But we did outlaw the acceptance of the Zuckerbucks. That's very good. Awesome. We created consistent precinct sizes across the state, 2,500 and under. So we're setting up for hand counting. Uh, we made it a felony to have a modem in your election system. So that's oh good. My gosh. Um, President Calvin Coolidge uh, is quoted as saying, it's much more important to kill bad bills than it is to pass good ones. Would you agree? I would agree. Um, let's see. So we killed the jungle primary bill, which was promoted by the Montana GOP. Hmm. Aww. Interesting, huh? We did uh, prohibit ranked choice voting, and that was done by Representative Lynn Helligard, who's in the, in the audience here. Wave your hand so we can see you. Yes, thank, thank you. you, Representative Helgard. As a freshman, she did that. And then I wanted to share one specific bill with you that we actually killed. It was House Bill 4, 402 that was sponsored by Representative Dave Beatty and co-sponsored yep. by Representative Wayne Rusk that required that a person whose citizenship status is not yet verified be allowed to vote. We killed that bill by one vote. During a time when our borders are open and drugs are flowing freely into our country and child trafficking is on the rise, we want to allow non-verified citizens to vote? No, Thank absolutely you. not. Excellent work. Yeah, excellent work. Yeah. All right, I have this. Um, tell me more. Oh, goodness. Um, well, let's see. Where's the clicker? You have the clicker? I have the clicker. Okay. Um, this, that's okay. Is it, is it we good? have a, we actually have a, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, good, perfect. This is good. Oh, this, this is, is a video. And 20 second video of something that happened in Carbon County. Uh, this is the election clerk, and you tell me what she's doing. She's shredding ballots. This, yeah, this falls under lawsuit success, and this is a lawsuit that Lisa and Chip Bennett are spearheading and going through currently. Wow. God bless them. Thank you, Lisa and Chip Bennett. This is wow. magnified at 650%, and yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's, okay, so uh, I just have to let that play. And then... Um, while that's playing, I can share with you, however, that 10 counties in Montana still have the opportunity to hand count because our population is so low, 1.1 million people in the fourth largest land mass in the country. And so that statute is still on our books, as is a local ballot initiative for whatever this, these citizens want. So that is what I'm working on currently is to... Uh, present to write and present a ballot initiative for local hand counting at the precinct level and we want our citizens we're taking signatures right now we're collecting information uh, we've already got a couple thousand signatures and uh, that's that's our next move is to uh, have a local ballot initiative to do hand counting in our county of Valley County and all it's going to take is one county to break that glass ceiling and I'm sure that others will follow Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. All right, awesome. Hang on, just making sure. Let's go to the next one. All right, 10 counties in, Monta in uh, Montana. Yeah, I guess I already shared that with you. Uh, that's what we're doing with. If anybody, uh, the big deal is uh, you have to have a single comprehensive issue to, on your ballot initiative. And, uh, you know, if there's any constitutional attorneys out there that might want to help us with that, because we definitely want to have, you know, hand counting at the precinct level, and they would also like to manage our own voter rolls. And those, 
we think would be considered two separate issues. So we're trying to get the language right on that. So uh, one of the things I want to point out about this at the top, 10 counties in Montana still hand count. Three of those counties, Dr. Frank was not able to do a predictive outcome like he's been able to do all across the country. That's a good thing because that means it's a random election. It's, it's random, it's not predetermined. Um, and then you ask the question why. Now, why would only three counties instead of all 10? Yeah, that is a good question. Didn't know the answer until I got here and discussed it with him earlier today. And he said now that he actually has all of the data, he can make the predictions. Wow. So that leads us to believe that it's gotta be in the voter rolls because it's not in the machines. Um, that is amazing. Well, you guys are doing great work in Montana. There is more questions than answers now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Much to be hopeful for. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you for all your effort. Oh, Dr. Frank. My this is my other favorite legislator <laughs> in the country. <laughs> yeah, I was not, yeah, I was a little jealous when you said that Well, we appreciate you guys, Montana. Fantastic work. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. You.